Now, in this particular session, we shall solve one floating point related problem. These sort of questions are very common in gate exam, other competitive exams and in your semester papers also. So, now you see there is a probable gate question solve represent following four floating point number representations in single precision format. So, they are asking that represent following four floating point uh, format representations in single precision format. So, single precision means what? You know that single precision means it will be having 32 bit representation and 32 bit representation will be divided into three sections. One is the sign for the significant which will be 0 or 1 depending upon whether the significant or the mantissa you can call is positive or negative respectively. Then we will be having bust exponent 8 bits and then truncated significant 23, 23 bits. Please uh, watch the uh, previous videos where we have explained this one into details. Now, this is the these are the four, four formats they have given. So, this is a plus plus, this is plus minus, this is minus plus, this is minus minus, same number, but we are having the combination of uh, plus 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 minus minus plus and minus minus combination. So, now let me consider the first field. Sign for the significant positive means 0 and negative means 1. So, here it is positive. So, I am putting here 0. Here it is positive plus nothing is written means plus. So, it will be 0. Here it is negative significant is negative 1 significant is negative 1. So, I have done it. Next one is my bias exponent. Next one is, is my biased exponent. What is the exponent? Exponent is 1 0 0 1 0 1. So, that is the exponent 1 0 0 1 0 1. So, let me write it. Let me write it here. So, 1 0 0 1 0 1. So, let me write it in the 8 bits format. So, I have written 0 0 1 0 0 1 0 1. So, now it should be bias exponent. So, 128 means 1 and then 7 zeros is to be added. So, bias exponent means I am going to add. So, it will become 1010010101. Okay. So, now it will become 1010010101 where, where it is positive, where, where it is positive. So, 1010010101. 0101. So, I am writing this one. So, I have written the bias exponent. Okay. Next, what about the negative exponents? The negative exponent means this number is negative. That means at first I should convert it to its truth complement to get its negative representation. Then with that we shall add 128. So, that is 1101 1010 I am adding 1, so 1. So, that is a 2's complement representation. That is a 2's complement representation. I think you, uh, you could get it. 1, 1, 0, 1. I am just uh, inverting. So, 0, 1. So, 1, 0, 0, 1. So, 1 will be 0 plus 1, it will become 1. So, please now add 128 be because it is a bias exponent. So, it will be like this and it will be like this. So, this one will be discarded because I was supposed to deal with 8 bit numbers. So, here this one will be 0 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 0 1 1 0 1 1. See, in case of signed representation of 8 bits, the range will be minus 128 to plus 127 you are making it biased by 128. So, 128 will get added. So, 128 will get added to give you 0, 128 will get added, it will give you 255. Here you see when you are adding 128, it is 128 and in some other places 1s are there. That means, it is more than 128 because the number was positive. Here you see the 128 place is 0. So, this number is less than 128 because initially the number was negative. So, after adding 128, how can it be more than 128? So, now the last section is truncated significant. Here the number is normalized. 
because the integer part is 0 and after the radix point the next bit is non zero so two constraints are being maintained so now how to get a truncated significant so i shall be writing this part discarding this one i shall be writing that part to discard that one so 10111 so 10111 and then i shall put multiple zeros so 23 bits of zeros in this way i can write the same for the rest So, all of them will have 23 bits here for all of them. You know that whenever say I am writing one fun, uh, fun number say 47.68, you know that if you go on adding zeros before that the number value will not get changed. If you go on adding zeros after that the number value will still remain unchanged. So, that is why I can attach multiple zeros after this point after this number. So, the value will not get changed because it is after the radix point. So, in this way the problem has been solved. These are the four representations. So, these are the four representations you can do in 32 bit representation. So, this sort of representation related floating point number representation related problems might be coming. So, be serious have a complete grip over this single precision and double precision floating point number representations and try to solve them uh, when they will come in your exams. Thanks for watching.